As we approach COP27, we have to acknowledge that you know, there has been huge international progress in terms of climate action, that we have the Paris Agreement, we have greater uh, energy and ambition around that agreed last year in Glasgow, but we need to do more. We're not yet on track for 1.5 degrees. We haven't got the basis in place in terms of good international solidarity. And after the year that we've just had, I think there is increasing visibility about the impacts of climate change. So what, what we need to see at COP27 is a much stronger um, resolution to, to continue to raise ambition, to continue to deliver. After the Glasgow COP, we have seen quite a different uh, turmoil in the geopolitics than was expected from before. So indications of resolve, signals of multilateral cooperation, and showing the case for solidarity will be topmost priorities for the European Commission and all parties interested in making sure we stay the course. The single most thing now before the COP is to raise the ambition within the European Union in other countries, other parties in, in the world. Yeah, when it comes to businesses, I, I think it's important to, to have a very clear leadership that really shows that you are able uh, as a company, uh, as a leader of a company, to make this transition and still make a benefit of the tr transition. All the actors, all the politicians, all the countries, but also all the, the, the big companies that have the possibility to, to transform the society, to help transform the society, must take full responsibility. And that, if you ask me, should be, be the core of, of leadership throughout the world. So Rob was going to be uh, attending a uh, COP uh, in Egypt in, uh, in November. Our message to businesses is action now. It's not about goals in 2040, 2050. It's about what short-term goals that we need to meet now in order to get this decarbonisation transition on track again.